Ford recently revealed its first Type A school vehicle that runs entirely on electricity, based on the e-transit van. The car, according to Ford, is the first from a full-line automaker, and it was unveiled at the World Truck Week 2023 in Indianapolis. The zero-emission vehicle may be free for several educational agencies with incentives. Just continue watching the video to learn more about this amazing school bus. For more interesting content like this, subscribe to our channel, Electrify. Ford has had great commercial success when it comes to the e-transit van. It seized almost three quarters of the total EV van market in 2022 and accomplished this by providing a variety of setups and collections targeted at various company types. It demonstrates just how much more room there is to grow and even includes Type A school vehicles. Wanda Young, the company's global chief marketing and experience officer, displayed the car while it was on display at the Ford Pro exhibit. Compared to the vehicles fueled by gas, the e-transit, according to the automaker, can reduce CO2 emissions by 57%. Ford's market share could rise and pollution could be reduced nationally with the addition of a school bus. Ford has not disclosed the price, manufacturing information, or estimated range for the e-transit school bus package just yet. Nevertheless, given that buying electric school vehicles is practically free, thanks to government benefits, it seems obvious to many school districts. Schools could receive up to $375,000 to replace outdated diesel-powered vehicles with new, all-electric ones. The Inflation Reduction Act additionally permits an additional $20,000 rebate for EV charging facilities. That should be sufficient to gather at least a few e-transit school vehicles. Furthermore, the scheduling could have been a bit better because, in some locations, governments will soon mandate the school system's transition to electric cars. Ford launched the e-transit in 2020 as an emission-free variant of its best-selling freight van. With 6,500 units sold in 2022, it rapidly rose to the top of the US sales rankings. In addition, it saw strong sales in Canada and Europe. The 198-kilowatt, 266-horsepower, rear-mounted electric engine and the 67-kilowatt-hour battery cell that power the e-transit-based school bus has a range of up to 125 miles or 201 kilometers on just one charge. In addition, the van has several security elements like 360-degree video and a collision system alert. This vehicle is ideal for transporting kids because of these characteristics. Ford hasn't provided any details about the new e-transit school bus just yet, but it will likely be similar to the Type A bus, which is the lowest category for this vehicle type and can carry 20 to 10 people. An entrance for passengers is located behind the front wheels of a Type A school bus, typically constructed on a cutway van chassis like the e-transit. An entry for the driver is located on the left side of the bus. With significant agreements with industry titans like the US Postal Service and the Deutsche Post DHL Group, or DHL, the world's largest logistics business, the Ford e-Transit all-electric van has demonstrated a lot of flexibility. To assist schools nationwide in lowering running costs, the e-Transit vehicle now assumes appearance of a school bus. This will be feasible because electric buses require less upkeep than buses fueled by fossil fuels. Over 25 million kids are transported to school yearly on over 500,000 vehicles that ply the roadways. Every year, this vehicle travels about 5.7 billion miles. According to recent data, after just one year on the market, the e-transit has already contributed to saving over 745,000 barrels of gasoline. That indicates that it stopped the atmosphere of the Earth from absorbing more than 4.3 million kilograms of CO2. Electrifying the nation's school transport fleet would prevent millions of tons of CO2 pollution. Hold the brake for just a second and hit that subscribe button for more content just like this one. And also, remember to hit that bell icon to receive notifications whenever we post new videos. Thank you. Now, let's move back to the video. The Style of Bus, also known as a short bus, is significantly smaller than the Style C bus used by most school systems to carry students. A collection of smaller Type A vehicles, however, is used by many institutions for other occasions and activities. Wanda Young, Ford's Pro Global Chief Marketing and Experience Officer, posted the bus's first picture on Twitter. The bus is on exhibit at the Ford Pro stand at the Auto Show, where anyone interested can find out more about its specifications, platforms, and charging capabilities, continued Young. 
Ford Professional prioritizes this developing market because many children use the bus yearly. Next year, your kids will travel to school in an electric yellow Ford van. While it's clear that the e-transit has already been a success, the choice to offer a school bus arrangement before anyone else may have increased the electric van's advantage over competitors. Other electric school bus options exist, but are different from the e-transit. Now that districts can receive up to $375,000 to replace outdated diesel-powered models with all-electric models, schools will eagerly look for deals like these. The Inflation Reduction Act is another issue that makes switching to EV even more appealing. The IRA allows the school systems to receive an additional $20,000 in credits for EV charges, making the infrastructure expenditure much more manageable. There is another reason why this is such an opportune moment to reveal the school bus package. In some places, school agencies must shortly switch out their outdated buses for electric vehicles. While Boston anticipates reviving its fleet with electric cars in 2030, New York wants its entire vehicle fleet to be electric by 2035. Ford is in an ideal situation because of this. Compared to Ford, competitors with a different school bus bundle struggle to draw consumers. On the combustion side, selling more electric vehicles, especially in fleet numbers, will mean cars like the Mustang can run without electricity for a long time. According to the CEO Jim Farley, last year's release of electric vehicles like the Mustang Mark E allowed this car, the V8 Mustang, to happen because competitors are buying credits for emissions and they can't come out with this kind of vehicle. In America, more than 480,000 yellow school buses transported approximately 26 million pupils to and from their respective schools, according to the New York School Bus Contractors Association, or NYSBCA. Each school vehicle consumes 1,700 gallons of gasoline annually, totaling 816 million gallons for the entire fleet. An electric school transportation system could generate enormous yearly savings if the gas and most maintenance costs were eliminated. The carbon emissions from school vehicles are significant, and the particles they emit could harm children's health. Driving an electric school bus doesn't have to be exciting. They don't need long range or extraordinary propulsion there's no clear disadvantage to powering the nation's school vehicles. A significant move towards lowering carbon pollution and building a sustainable future is the debut of the electric school bus. Parents and instructors alike can have the peace of mind knowing that their students are riding in an eco-friendly, reliable, and secure vehicle when they send them to school on a Ford Type A electric school bus. These Taipei buses' narrow-body designs carry Collins' heritage of simple vehicle movement, wide view-out windows, one-piece tubular roof bows, among other features. High-strength, low-alloy, or HSLA steel, is used in the construction of each bus to create a one-piece tube roof bow that is 66% stronger than conventional steel. The robust roll cage construction uses full-length interlocking cage stringers and full beams to optimize passenger safety. The outcome is a sturdy, corrosion-resistant, G90-coated steel framework. But that will be all for today's video, and if you liked it, then please give us a big thumbs up! Subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to receive notifications when we post new videos. Also, we'd love to hear your valuable thoughts down in the comment section below! And feel free to spend some time watching other videos on our channel. Until then though, goodbye.